What's up guys? This is Adit from Tech is Easy and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use InShot Video Editor. So in my opinion, this is the best free video editing app for your phone. So it's completely free to download from the Play Store or the App Store and what I like about InShot is that it's extremely simple to use and has many features. And the best thing is that it doesn't have a watermark. So you can just see an ad and then the watermark is gone from the video. So let's get started. The first thing which you'll have to do is just install the app. So after opening InShot, you'll have three options. The first to edit a video, then photo and collage. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a video using InShot. So first just click on video and over here you have many options. So the first thing which you'll want to do is select the videos or photos which you'll want to edit. So for now, I'll just select this one video and then if you want a photo, just click on photo and from here you can select it. And then they've added a new section on the top which is material. So over here, you'll have all of your stock videos, your intros, outros and I'll talk more about this in the video. So now just click on the green tick at the bottom right. So now I'm going to show you the important options which they have over here at the bottom. So you can just swipe right and see all of them. The first option called canvas is basically the aspect ratio. So whether it's for Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, then they have many options at the bottom. So let's say if this is for YouTube, I'll just select the option 16 by 9. And then if I want to zoom in, as you can see, I can zoom in and zoom out. After that, if you want to trim your video, you'll just have to click on it. And now as you can see, this white slider has come here. And now I can just drag this to make it shorter or just crop it to my liking. After that, if you want to play your video to see the changes which you've made, you can just click on the play button over here. And then if you want to undo a certain change which you've made, you have an option of that as well. Just click on this button over here. And then again, you can just click on redo to get it back. After that, the next option is for a background. So if you just click on it, then over here, you have many options. So the first one is if you just want a blurred background and you can decide the intensity. So now if you look at the background, it's changed from white to a blur or else if you want to put a photo, they have an option for that as well. You can just click on the gallery icon over here. After that, they have some solid colors. So basically, you can just go through all of this. And then once you've made the change, you can just click on the tick, which is over here. I'm going to show you how to add text to a video. For that, just swipe left. So if you just click on text, then over here, you can type anything that you want. After that, you'll find many options over here. So the first option is to change the color, the shadow and all of that. After that, to change the font, just click on this AA icon. And then the last option is if you want an effect. So this is basically when the text appears and when it disappears, if you want a certain effect for that, then you have an option for that as well. So I'll just select one for now. So now as you can see, this green block called hello has come. And now if I want to move the position, I can just long press. Then I can take it to any part of the video. If I want to change the position of the word hello, I can click on it and I can resize it, take it anywhere over here. If you want to add a sticker, it's a similar process. Just click on sticker. Then you have many options over here. So these are some default ones. Or else if you want a sticker or a GIF from your gallery, click on the gallery icon over here. And then just click on import. So for now, I'll just select some random sticker. And again, the same way, I can resize it and change the position. And then just click on the tick over here. So now the next thing which I'll show you is how to add music. Again, this is extremely simple. Just click on music. Then from here, you have many options. So you can select some tracks. Then if you want some effects, which will only be there for a couple of seconds, they have that or else they have an option to record. So for now, I'll just select tracks. Then again, from here, they have many options. And then if you like it, just click on use. And here, as you can see, the track has come. And let's say if I want to change the volume of the track, what I can do is just click on volume and over here, make it louder or softer. After this, I'm going to show you how to add more videos or photos. So let's say you forgot to add a video earlier. Just click on the plus button at the bottom left. Then click on video slash photo. And again, the same way you can just select one. Or else if you want to add a stock video, for that click on material. Based on what you want, you can just go through all of the options. Over here, if I want the C, I can just download it. And as you can see, it's come here. So now we have two clips. 
the first one being the stock video and the second being our original one. After this, I'll show you how to add a transition between two clips. So first, you just have to go to the end of the first clip. Then you'll find this one button over here, this white button. Just click on that. And from here, you've many transitions which you can select. So the first row is for free and for the others, you'll need the pro version. So I've selected this. Then I can change the time and then just click on the tick. Then they also have some basic options. So if you swipe completely to the right, then over here, you'll find things like changing the speed, cropping it, and these options are quite self-explanatory. Now there's one feature which they've recently added, and this is one thing which I really like. So if you just click on pip, which is written over here, you can put one video over another and play them simultaneously. So I'm sure you'd have seen in many people's videos, they'll have a subscribe animation at the bottom. So using pip, you can do that. I'll just show you how to do it quickly. So first, under material, just go to green screen, and then they have the subscribe animation. So over here you can see that it's completely green, and to remove it, just scroll to the right, and click on chroma. Over there, just select the green color, and then click on the tick. And now if you play this, you can see that the exact animation has come here. Now there's just one last step, and that's exporting it. For that, you can just click on save, which is written on the top right. After that, select the frame rate, the resolution, and then just click on save. So you may have to see an ad, but after that, your video will start getting exported. And now as you can see, it's done and it'll be saved in your gallery. So this is how InShot works. And if you want to know the top video editors for your PC, or if you want to know how to screen record your PC screen, you can just click on these videos over here. Goodbye.